Newton is quite clear in the Principia in distinguishing the first two books from the third book. The first two books, we are told by Newton, are mathematical, while the third book is philosophical. He says so at the very beginning of the third book, for instance. So, well, in which sense uh, uh, we can draw this uh, distinction? Perhaps we can uh, identify two meanings for this. One is that the mathematical, that the propositions of the first book have an if-then structure, if you like. If certain things occur, then certain things occur. For instance, if uh, a body moves in void uh, in a, along a circle and the center of force is placed on the circumference of the circle, then the force is inverse, uh, varies as the inverse of the fifth power of the distance. So this is clearly a model that has no application to the real world. It is a mathematical construct. It is a hypothetical mathematical model. Clearly, Newton is dealing in the first book with hypothetical models that are structured in such a way that they will turn useful in the third book, right? But what he is considering in the first two books are situations that might occur, but uh, might not. So there is a, an hypothetical character in the mathematical models in the first two books that should be underlined. A second characteristic of the first two books that makes the first two books mathematical rather than philosophical, in Newton's terms, philosophical means that uh, they have to do with uh, causes and effects that occur in the real world. A second sense in which uh, the first two books are mathematical is that uh, the forces that are uh, considered in the first two books uh, can be attractions, can be impacts. We don't know what they are. Uh, we don't know if uh, the bodies that move uh, uh, in the first uh, two books uh, are pushed by contact action or are attracted by action at a distance. And uh, in uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, section 11, uh, Newton says, writes this, and uh, he writes, For this reason, I now go on to set forth the motion of bodies that attract one another, considering centripetal forces as attractions. Although perhaps, if we speak in the language of physics, they might more truly be called impulses. For here we are concerned with mathematics, and therefore, putting aside any debates concerning physics, we are using familiar language so as to be more easily understood by mathematical readers. So, Newton in this passage from section 11 of the Principia is telling us something that is quite interesting. He's telling us, I am considering here, attractions, but uh, they might be impulses. I am considering body that attract each other, but uh, it might be that this body are pushed by some contact mechanism, one towards the other. And I do not enter into this debate because I'm talking mathematically. Now, in Newton's time, there was this great divide between people who believed that all phenomena of nature could be explained by contacts, by impacts, and people who instead thought that forces acting at a distance could explain phenomena. And uh, in the first two books, 
Newton wants to say the mathematical models that I am developing are independent of these philosophical debates about the nature of forces. There is another sense in which we can say that the mathematical models considered in the first two books are not philosophical in Newton's sense. It is the following. Some of these models are, <laughs> are against the, the laws of physics that Newton states at the beginning of the book. That is, the third law, which says that to every action corresponds an equal and opposite action, is not considered in some of the models that Newton uh, develops in Book 1. Uh, in the first sections of Book 1, in Section 2 and Section 3, we have a body that moves around the center of force. Uh, so the center of force exerts a central force that accelerates the body, but the body does not exert any contrary action on the center of force itself, which is a purely mathematical center of force. So Newton was quite aware that the, model that the models that he was considering were crude approximations of what happens in the real world, and in some cases these approximations are even, <laughs> um, in a sense, uh, in a in a sense, they break uh, the they do not um, um, conform to the to the laws to the basic laws of 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 of, uh, of natural philosophy.